Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Backcast, the more audio talking in general component to the backlog. We are not always consistent, but we're always genuine. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Uh, I had I had another word, but I'm also <laughs> uh, also often sleep deprived. This. I'll say, I'll say uh, I'm Dan, joined by Joe. Yes. Joe, my new 12-hour work schedule is trying at it's, times. It's changing things up on you. Oh, it's fun, though. Anyway, uh, but we're not here to talk about that. That's mundane stuff. <laughs> mundane work. Yeah, but Ugh. we, we want to talk about video games and maybe some other stuff. Cool dude stuff. Yeah, cool dude stuff. I mean, you were you were telling me. I, I just want to touch on it briefly. Okay. Uh, you were telling me about the Netflix documentary you're watching. What's the title? Oh, jeez, I would have to. It's like the uh, wreck of the unbelievable or something like that. Treasures from the wreck, unbelievable. Okay. Fascinating though. Yes. Uh, highly and recommend if anybody has not seen uh, it. I was it, spoiled. I yeah. I, but I, I, I won't spoil it. It's yeah. a pretty incredible say, tale. <laughs> you asked. You you did ask me. Yeah, you yeah. didn't just like jerk move and be like, well, I'm just gonna tell you. Yeah. But uh, uh, you uh, yes. And I think that that's definitely the where that goes is people should probably watch going cold on that. Yeah, that sounds. Amazing. You don't want to know anything about it because uh, it's a fascinating, fascinating documentary of a uh, of a shipwreck. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah. So, I'm, I'm way into that stuff. I, I oh, me too, me too. I, I, I we enjoy talked scuba on, diving and yeah. all of that. So, like anything I can find about uh, shipwrecks or underwater stuff, like <laughs> I am generally uh, attracted to it. Yeah, yeah, right on. Uh, I know, and I know we talked on this podcast before about the Curse of Oak Island, and right, I, yeah. I fell off that. That got bad real fast. Yeah. But but like, I, and when I, when I, I like go that reality TV kind of route. It's mm, hard to yeah. keep that up in an interesting way, right? Especially when there's nothing really new coming forth about Oak Island. <laughs> right. Well, it's, 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 let's, let's say it's, it got it seemed to get to a point where they were intentionally dragging their feet. Like, yeah. we think there's something in this hole. Now let's go to the other side of the island. It's like, yeah, st- stop that. That's that's not how that works. That, that's that's not, that's infuriating. And now I'm not, not going to watch your show anymore. Uh, but uh, speaking video games, um, I got, I have continued to play Valkyria Chronicles, uh, which is, and how was that feeling? I mean, I know before when we were talking about it, it was you were still pretty early game. I have passed where I fell off last time. Okay. And I think I mentioned, I can't remember if I... Are you to the end game Oh, yet? not even or, a little bit. Oh, not wow, okay. even a little bit. How long I, is this game? Like, I did what, take, what is your play time? Well, what, should, what's I, your play time? I, I should, well, we should call out. It has been a while since we've done a podcast. I, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure people know as yeah. we have not posted a podcast for right. a, a couple so, of weeks. So scheduling some stuff and just kind of also... Us trying to strike that balance of us playing games that we want to play, but not talking about the same thing every week. Sure, yeah. This might be a little bit more sporadic going forward. Uh, current, well, yeah, especially with the new uh, scheduling and everything, yeah. we're trying to work around. Uh, we'll figure it out. We're, yeah. So we're we're again like like so many like we're just we're just <laughs> trying to figure. It, yes, we're trying to figure it out. Uh, but uh, so with also the aforementioned uh, work schedule. There's three to four days a week, depending on the week, that I'm basically kind of almost zombie mode. I get off of work, I come home, I try and get to sleep as fast as possible, end up sleeping sometimes close to 10 hours. That's wild. Uh, you know, eight to 10 hours, waking up and just trying to get back to a like a human state before I go into work again. But then I have those other, the opposite days, the inverse days, off. Right, and so I get a lot more time to do to do to whatever. readjust. And, right, yeah. but a strategy game isn't always the thing to try and play there. <laughs> yeah. So I picked up another more action focused game, which we'll get to. But um, Valkyria Chronicles, uh, I I am so glad I muscled through. I, muscled through. Well, I'm, I'm I I. I I'm almost glad I stopped when I did previously because if I got farther into that same mission, I would have inf- got infuriated because like a hero character shows up and is basically like machine gun sniping your people from across the map. And there's sure, all sorts yeah. of things that like I was able to handle it now, but I don't know if I would have been able to handle, but the person I was when that <laughs> game came out, I feel, I feel similarly about the world ends with you. <laughs> it's funny. I'm kind of glad you changed, I'm right? kind of glad I've, uh, I, I wasn't like, turned off by it and then like having learned of, of persona and things I, yeah. I've been able to better wrap my mind around that game like what, what it was asking for you yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, so I'm also on a not, not a boss I, I, yeah actually I'm on another boss mission where I'm fighting an artillery train Okay. Uh, and basically, there's something about blowing up the bridge. And it that game... Kind of your standard, like, yeah, train. Well, we got to stop this train trope. So, you know, remember when I was kind of talking about how there's a class of people, the Darksons? 
that were like right. they were like or like your yes. Jew analog, but I wasn't sure right. if they really were. Yeah, you're liberating a constant, but like like a work a concentration, camp, a work camp. camp okay, but, sure, work. But at camp. the same time, they're literally being worked to death, and it's it's mm. a little on the nose. It's like wow, so interesting. <laughs> anyway, it gets it gets full on World War Two in, in in that business. Uh, but I've stopped there because I just needed to find a a different mental space. That game continues to be awesome. The upgrade. Okay. So the upgrades. And I did see some of that. I did show you that. Yeah, that you the way the tree splits. Uh, and that looks interesting. I also made friends with the queen of my country. And at one point she gave me a couple, just a few, uh, like not named guns, but special models of guns that I could equip to an ad- individual character. Oh, okay. That had different stats and different, uh, like distribution of stats. So that appears to be a thing that's going to be going on, and I am not done by with that game by any means. See, that but seems kind of interesting. This that, I do enjoy named guns. Like I did play Destiny. Yeah, <laughs> when it was good. Uh, but we we don't we don't say that. <laughs> we don't, okay. we're not in this studio. That's fair. Which also I'll refrain. We'll be moving studios here. Uh, oh, very true. Yes. Very, very soon. So that'll be fun. I say studios, but it's just my apartment. <laughs> it's <laughs> whatever. A, it's a room in your apartment. Yeah, but whatever. It's a studio. We, uh, we have studio to that appro- appropriately. Uh, and when we will do that in the next place. <laughs> uh, we'll have to come up with a title though for the the new studio. Oh, the new studio. <laughs> yeah, not not this one. Uh, name the studio. Name the studio after you leave. That seems like a good idea. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. As as I'm bouncing around tangentially, I've been up for what time is it? I've been up for around about, is it 18 or 20 hours at this point? Oh, no. So it's probably great that we're doing our podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was a really good idea. Look, if we're not doing it now, we're not doing it all. It's true. Yeah. It's going to be a busy weekend for both of us. Anyhow. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, oh, happy anniversary, by Uh, the way. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. (laughs) Uh, So, Joe, what have you been playing? Not a lot. Uh, Like I said, it's been a little busy for me, uh, and I've been actually and since i have netflix again <laughs> it's, okay. been, it's been a while people i've been uh, rocking the hulu lifestyle for quite some time so uh i'm the wife and i have been watching uh just random stuff on netflix and uh altered carbon uh people have recommended it to me thank you people who have recommended it v- vociferously uh, I, i've been yes, there when people so. have, have recommended it yes. to both of us collectively yes it, it, very and good if you haven't seen yeah. altered carbon it's a fantastic sci-fi uh in the vein of, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what I'd compare Black to. Mirror? Uh, no, no. It's more like Electric Dreams on Prime is like a Black Mirror sci-fi oh, that's thing. That's on Prime? Yeah. It's, and it's great. You should check it out. I should check it um, out. Yeah, if, if you haven't watched, if you like Electric Dreams on uh, Amazon Prime, yeah, check out Alter Carbon. It's like a longer form version of of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, highly recommend it. Very good. Very good show. Look forward to uh, discussing it in full with, with people. But um Aside from that, I've had like very little time. I did jump into Diablo three again for like I don't know a couple hours maybe to, to boost a friend to boost a friend just real quick. And uh, I don't really have much more to add to that because like I'm still as powerful as I was then. Yeah, yeah. It feels like that was forever ago. It feels like it, but it wasn't that. It's long. It's been about a month. Yeah, it's not terribly long. And I actually kind of wanted to jump back in. Like I got I got kind of got like wet my whistle a little bit, and I was like, ooh, dang, I need to jump back in and and see. Uh, I did. I did check on yeah, the okay. leaderboards. Mm-hmm. You know, out of habit, I had yeah. to check the leaderboards, see where the demon hunters were at. Yeah. Um. And where I had ed- I had ended at ninety, I was like just about to hit the leaderboards. Mm. The top demon hunter still is the same build, the unhallowed essence build, uh, but they're pushing up like one twelve. Wow. As a demon hunter, which is kind of unheard of. Like I, it's it's mm. insanely good. Um. I need to check out my crusader and see where see where they're at. Well, Serious, my yeah. crusader build won't be on the leaderboard because only crazy people <laughs> play invokers. Hey, but, who knows? Uh, and but like, uh, I mean, dude, I was boosting. He's like, hey, yeah, yeah, we should uh, like get together and see if we can start pushing like up to one hundreds and stuff. And I was like, that would be cool. totally on board. And if we can get, and I obviously yep. we, we would recruit you, yeah, as yeah, well. Because uh, depending on the day, I either have all night to play or <laughs> no time whatsoever. Um, but yeah, it was it was kind of fun jumping back in. I'd like to kind of see what late season yeah mid to late season diablo 3 well, kind of feels like i've never again like we've we hit the milestones past yeah. past the paragon 800 yeah and uh that feels great obviously mm-hmm. and now everything all the paragons we get going forward are just gravy and free stats so i i kind of want to see what these higher powered builds feel like right i think i've I th- never played diablo at that level so right. It's kind of enticing. I wonder if a certain amount of it, though, would have been like, well, we should, well, we should have been continuing to play. Uh, 
True. to this point yeah then we would be in like late season we're yeah, we're in actuality we're, we're exactly where we were we are yeah in in the reality of it sure um but i think if uh, and it's oh and uh good news it does seem like they fixed the uh multiplayer book. oh so now you can actually have you can, can actually rando. get into a random group okay. so uh that might be I mean, for me, I, I liked doing that before. It was a good way to like farm up uh, rift stones. I, and I like need that. to farm gr- farm rift stones. Yeah, I, I I will have to do that when I log back and in. Being able to speed run with guys that are way higher level than you is really nice. <laughs> yeah, at this point, I'm sure everybody's Paragon Everyone, 1200. Yeah, I'm sure they're all insane. Um, but yeah, that was good. It was good to jump back in. Uh, the other like thing of note is uh, for you, wow, people out there, I did pick up the new expansion. Which did unlock the Allied races. The pre-order for the new expansion. The pre-order for the new expansion. Yes, I did pre-order the new expansion, which unlocked stuff for me right now. Right. Which was the Allied races. And okay. I went through and did the Alliance ones, so I have done the Void Elves and the Lightforge Draenei. And you were somewhat disparaging about the the Lightforge, um, or just that it doesn't compare to the no, Lightforge no, no. Draenei. Uh, the night the the Void Elf one. The Void Elf the one. The Void Elf one was a little lackluster. Um, well, Mostly because no, it's just like... Elves and nobody likes elves. <laughs> Except that's the one I'm actually going to play. I'm probably actually sure. switching to a Void Elf as my main. Um, but the story behind it, it, it I mean, it's kind of interesting in that they are a like kind of a sect of blood elves that started mm. like delving into void magic and then got uh, kind of like ostracized by the high elves. Slash, no, the blood elves. The blood elves. There are no yeah. high elves uh, anymore, right? Illyria Windrunner's back. Right, okay, but isn't she all voided out she's, now too? She's a high elf. She oh. she controls the void magic in a way that's like more pure, I guess. Okay. It has not warped her uh being like the void elves. Got it. So <laughs> she's still a high elf and has better control. She's of it. just a high void elf. Yeah, she's better. She's better than all the other ones. I mean because the void elves actually got like they kind of like had to rip a tear in reality and uh, they've been hiding out in the void okay. for a long time. And you kind of are the envoy. Like there's a new there's a new embassy in Stormwind. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So you can you actually choose who you're going to go uh, kind of approach about allying with the Alliance. And uh, so I started, I did the Void Elf one. Uh, you go and talk to him. You help him fight off some, you know, uh, Prove some, your worth some, bad, some Void baddies that are after them. Because they're, they're still trying to like not give in to the Void, but gotcha. master it's like it as a form of magic. And, you know, because they believe that you can use the Void for good, even though it's like been right. against the light in previous so it's kind of a pretty like standard uh, yeah, storyline okay, okay. I mean, it's wow it's like blizzard never they're, they're never not expected masters anything. of like deep storytelling and, right. and continuity um but then i i was like oh well i've done the void elf one uh i should just unlock the light forge draenei as well yeah and i was actually like very charmed by that storyline okay so uh, Turalyon, he's like the head of the light right and uh he's like hey yeah come back to the our our place where you're like basically doing our the trials of the light forged so okay. there are these like Draenei candidates for light forging basically like okay. they have to prove themselves by going through these tests and like okay. uh beating their inner demons so you get So you start off as a regular Draenei uh no you start off as whatever character you're main that you're playing through this storyline you show oh. up to like talk to Turalyon again oh, okay. and the the trials are starting and you have to have a second Okay. So there's like there's like a pair there's like a, there's like one guy that's gonna do the test and he has a second there and then there's this one guy named uh, Tapartos and he's he's there solo he's like I can just take on the trials myself he's like real like kind of like a kind of a like a heart of gold kind of lunkhead like okay real powerful lovable like, lovable kind of like but, but kind of cocky yeah, like okay. a little bit like overestimating his abilities gotcha and he just kind of looks over at you and he's like I'll take this guy <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll just take this guy on my trials. And uh, he always talks about himself in the third person. It's 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 an interesting story. Okay, okay. Uh, it's it's like that. He's like, oh, Tabarthos, this, and he's oh, obviously the, the dumb Russian the, accent. The dumb the Russian head. accent. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. So you start going through his trials with him and helping him out, and he just starts getting kind of like, I don't know, like beat up a bit by some of these things. Yeah, and uh, and he has to just like overcome each of these trials with your help. Yeah, and then he realizes like as you're going through that like he couldn't do it without you, and then he has to come up against like his own doubts and fears, and you're like beating these like uh, i guess they are like manifestations are of you beating these. the doubts out of him <laughs> doubt is one of them absolutely doubt fear uh anger so it's the shahs again from pandaria kind of but in like a Dranai, right like uh, uh argus Dranai okay guys that have never been the shah of russian yeah, dancing kind of yeah exactly okay uh and then you know and he kind of like 
humbles himself and it ends up being kind of like a, a nice uh, story and i actually found it like a lot more in-depth and like, like more uh, relatable warlords of drain or uh the chick who takes over for the alternate dimension prophet who dies what's her name uriel uriel kind of not unlike the uriel co- yeah. quest chain yeah and uh, uh no, no, yeah, kind of lo- like that hers was longer and a bit Weirder, but like it's also like yeah, spread across it was the expansion, like tied to the whole like religious aspects of it all, and right? And she, the power behind she the doesn't light. become the prophet, but she becomes a vindicator. I don't remember; it's been and a long time, and Draenor wasn't that good. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it had moments, but yeah, you're right; it wasn't moments, that good. yes, but it wasn't as good as Pandaria. It, oh, no, I mean, what has been as good as Pandaria? <laughs> I would argue that Legion's been pretty good. Okay. You uh, would. <laughs> I would, yeah, I, I would, because I, I have enjoyed it. Yeah, there's been beefs with, like, the legendary system and stuff, but uh, story-wise and the way it's kind of been presented and just the gameplay loop has been a lot better than good. some good, previous good. stuff, especially now they're kind of ironing out Mythic Plus dungeons, and that has added a layer to WoW that has not existed before, mm. uh, a very Diablo-esque layer that's pretty fun i mean before i left uh well our, it's, it's our raid it's, team it's, i was teasing the it's, raid it's lead. the maturity of the challenge yeah, yeah. yeah. It's diablo, but the wow will be diablo one day that's the what i always used to joke right. with. It's like <laughs> it's okay guys i'll be back when this game's diablo and the beauty is it is it is becoming more diablo even mm. with uh, with battle for azeroth it is becoming even more diablo interesting uh, gear sets being gone and, and random drop uh stuff with different stats and things is is becoming more of a thing. <laughs> greater rifts are a thing now. Yeah, greater <laughs> rifts are a thing already with Mythic Plus. And Deckard Kane is showing up and <laughs> that would be amazing. asking you to stay, stay a while, while and listen. listen. And then, uh, anyway. But uh yeah. Uh so and playing through and I created a Light Forge Ren. I just because now I wanna, you know, play through those little mm. starter uh, quest zones and stuff as well. But yeah, I found the Light Forge Ren I quest line to be uh, pretty charming. Not that uh it's not very long. Neither of them are very long. They and never I'm, are. So, I'm so they over never geared are. for it too. It may have been a better experience had it taken some time to actually complete. Had it been a but challenge? I'm, I'm like fully heroic geared and then some. Right. So it's a, I kind of just walk in and just lull my way through the whole thing. There, there's, a, there's also a thing. There's something to be said about that. There's something that's I don't know. Awesome about o- over gearing content. I it's mean, the reason. I mean, it's the reason I play an MMO, right? You know, it, it's like I, it's also I why you get, play Diablo. It's, it's why also I play Diablo Division and, and yeah. like all of these loot shooters. I play I mean, these things so that I can at some point overpower the content mm. and it becomes like you get you kind of get that like perspective on like where you've come from, and right? How things feel, and and it's yeah. why seasons and new expansions are great because you get to start over. You get yeah, to do it you again. you get that 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 soft reset. And you're yeah. like, okay, and let's go, let's do it again. Yeah. Get that dopamine hit of hitting those levels. Yep, absolutely. Make it, uh, just get, gotta get that dope hit. Yeah, right? Dope hits. Maybe. Loving it. <laughs> Love, man, Bring on the serotonin. Never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's, I, I, I'm, but that's about, uh, like, I mean, my gaming is pretty yeah. limited. I've been busy uh, doing more, like, doing a lot of hobby stuff as well, modeling and, and right. things. The for, 40K Forge yeah, Bay some, box. some tabletop stuff is, uh, Shade kind of Spire. Take, it takes time, man. It takes yeah, time. I know, here's the thing is, I, really do miss the times I would. I've, I have also been hobbying up uh, quite a bit lately and just throwing on. I've been listening to the Red, La- Red Letter Media guys do their movie analysis stuff. Uh, and I've just been have that, so I don't have because I don't have to look at what they're doing. Right? Or, no, their editing is pretty on point. Oh, it's so good. They have some fun stuff that they do. If you're paying I, attention, I've, I've been, there's yeah, a bonus there. Yeah, yeah. If you pay attention, like they do right. show you some cool stuff, some or they'll clip, jump back, some and clips zoom that in, you may not yeah, see, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. They, but, have, they definitely are good at uh, throwing their visual style into it. Well, they've actually done some. Uh, I don't know if they're feature movies, but they have they have done like uh, they did a kind of I, I want to say it was a parody movie. Because it's clearly a degaffed sort of movie called Space Cop. Okay, and it's one okay. cop, one cop from the future, one cop from the past. <laughs> Is it a buddy cop movie? Yes. Oh, man. they unfreeze a cop from the past, and he's from he's a space cop. Or yeah, space cop is from the future. Oh, that sounds so bad. It, it is. I want to watch and it. And space cop, he just has like this gold star sewn onto. Like it's this just chubby dude. It's the the chubby dude who has the cackly laugh. Uh, oh right, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and it's just yeah, it's uh, it's ridiculous. At one I'm point, only I'm I'm also only uh, recently like familiar with Red Letter Media. Anyway, so I, I, I look to see if it would if they just had it on YouTube somewhere they don't so i think it's a feature film you have to track down that's someplace. weird anyway but I, mostly they do commentary like vod it yeah maybe anyway uh i've been watching listen to those guys critique movies and things that i never have any intention of watching okay uh and building models painting uh 
doing some scratch building, got got my gun plot on, but we'll get to that. <laughs> that comes later. Uh, so many teases. Right. I just love it. I love, I love to tease. Anyhow. Uh, but yeah, so I've been just doing- Just like the ladies. Doing the hobby thing as well. Uh, been reading through that Infinity uh, rule book for the RPG a little bit. Okay, right on. You know, just stuff. Look, looking forward to getting into some of that at some point. Look, look, when, when you're as tired as I have been lately, it's I, just like- I do not begrudge you any It's like, <laughs> what can I do and keep my eyes open? Oh, man. Um, reading would not be a thing that I would it, choose. I haven't been doing a lot of reading. <laughs> not a lot of reading. Even if I was super interested, I would not be- <laughs> It depends on the day. It's like, hey, I'm real tired. I think I'm going to find a book. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what's up? Some mornings where it's like I it's morning. I should I should mention I'm also doing graveyard twelve hour shifts. Right. It's like I need to fall asleep. Oh, here's this book. Oh, perfect. I mean, true. If you need it as that like sedative, sure, absolutely, so, something like that. But uh, as I teased before, my offset action game to fill me uh, uh, to kind of when I could turn your brain off when I couldn't Valkyria strategy. Yeah, gaming uh, without a brain. I, I love well, it. Well, here's the thing is it's not exactly that either. I know. Because it's because it's near automata. Forgive my reductionism. No, well, I mean, I, I, if, look, <laughs> Devil May Cry is already a series we've started. If I could play <laughs> Devil May Cry, I would be doing that because I wouldn't have to pay attention to the story. <laughs> Definitely true. But near automata is a game that has 26 endings, <laughs> I think is what it is. So do you need to then like be careful about no. how you play the game? Not as far as I know. Does it like, because you can't, you're not going to repeat, it doesn't let you repeat endings, right? I have no idea. Ooh, I, that I'm would not, be so disappointing if you like play a few hours in. And, I like, think it unlocks as you go, like kind of it's spider glasses okay. out. I do know if you want the like final ending, you basically have to sacrifice your save game. Which I find super fascinating. That's so cool. I also find like, it super fascinating you gotta that- pay for, You got to pay for the real ending. Right. I also find it fascinating that uh, the- devs came out and said hey there's some stuff that people haven't found yet anyway have a nice day that's great <laughs> that's, that is so mean if to do if there's nothing i mean but that's what the internet loves man like, yeah you give them something they like haven't found yet yeah it's like a challenge i well, mean it is a challenge clearly it is literally a, they're saying they are throwing down the gauntlet here's, like, hey, it, guess what our game has more stuff you they might as about. well have posted a picture of a gauntlet <laughs> your move <laughs> your move internet <laughs> uh but that's that's it's a fascinating game because it it feels like there's just so much underneath the surface, and I can't tell if that's just because it's Japanese, or if, and then like I'm missing something, or like <laughs> I'm reading what could be there, or if it really goes that deep because it's like this. We're not even to pardon our weeb yet. No, but, uh, no, it's very much like uh, I, I definitely understand well, and, and agree. Let me let me I give you the Japanese setting. like the Japanese like world building. Ha- their world building is fantastic. Yeah, second and to none. Always. Writing, leaves you yep. feeling like there is something else, but like the just below. Falls flat. Uh, yeah, More, I mean, mostly again, falls yeah, flat. They, they George Lucas themselves quite a bit. Um, okay, yeah, <laughs> I, I see what you mean. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if that's what I world, said it. To. World build, good world building, not necessarily great. Like moment to moment, moment to moment, character, character motivation, oh, motivations yeah. and stuff. Like, I mean, it's anime. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't give it like. Well, not all of Japanese credit. everything is anime, but I yes, I, it is. <laughs> Japan is anime. <laughs> that's why they call it Japanimation. Dang, you beat me to it. Gosh dang it. Uh, beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> continue. <laughs> no, you just stole my joke. Continue. Uh, yeah, what okay. do you think of Nirod? Uh, <laughs> well, let me, let me give, you, give you a setup. The setup is you're, I guess you play multiple characters, but you start off as to be a um, very posterior, po- uh, posterior well endowed uh, android. Is that, a, is that an endowment? I, I'm, ch- I'm stuck. Yeah, yes, she's she is endowed she with is, a very fine posterior. She is thick. Yeah. Yes. Very, she's quite thick, but she's an <laughs> android. <laughs> Two C's. Uh, oh, right. Right. But uh, she is fighting for your, the Yorha soldiers. It's a weird acronym, but they're androids that are trying to retake the Earth from aliens that showed up with like the machines. And they're real janky looking machines, but the machines okay. were brought by aliens, and there was this war, and humanity lost Earth. And now there's a small colony living on the moon, and they built androids to go fight the machines to um, get to win Earth back at some point. I mean, that all sounds rad. It, 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 yes, and then you very quickly find like machines that are just like, yeah, whatever. Um, we don't really want to fight. They don't say that. Well, you do find some later that do kind of say that, waving white flags and all that stuff. Oh wow! Uh, and you also you also wander into this very disturbing theme park. Um, at one point you find a bunch of like, just, they're basically like almost literally tin cans, like the base level machines are just these little tin cans with round heads. 
Uh, and at one point, you walk on, uh, you walk into a group of like thirty of them, and they're all trying to mate with each other, <laughs> but they don't have genitals. <laughs> but they're like slamming into each other, and you're like, um, I clearly see what you're going for, but what the hell, game? <laughs> That's uh, wow. Well, okay. I'll say, I'll, oh, well, here's the thing: is here's wow. the thing that makes it Japanese. Then they all just at one point they huddle into a big ball and actually reproduce something that's not them. That's really strange. The game is weird. That sounds kind of fascinating. It is I really fascinating, want to play and it looks cool. I'm playing it on PC. Very nice. Yeah, it look it looks good. It looks real good. But very, uh, very nice. I'm also I also I find myself going, huh? That just happened. Save, quit, set down controller. I'll be back, dear. <laughs> I need <laughs> some time to process I need, I need that. I need to take a little break from what I just saw. Uh, but I should say, I mean, it's a great. Is, is that the mark of a good game? Is it's, that is that is that good? Is that a? Uh, it's it's a mark of a game, an affecting game. Definitely true. And that's what I mean. Sometimes that's what you want. And that's also not a walking simulator. I should also say this because it goes from like I thought we said all we needed to about Last of Us. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't make this weird. <laughs> uh, uh, it's it, it transfers. I won't say seamlessly, but it, it's constantly bouncing between like a. Third person Devil May Cry action game. Okay. To like a side scroller, like vaguely platformer. Um, it goes open world at points. It'll go top down Raiden Fighters kind of shooter. Oh, wow. Uh, like the game opens up as you as a jet. And then it, the, and okay. you're doing like the Raiden Fighter thing, and then you transform form into mech mode, and it's. And then, but it, like sometimes it's side, sometimes it's overhead view, sometimes it's like kind of three. It's this just, game sounds so fascinating. And and I would have okay. So the, the the footage you're watching for today for today's backcast is not captured. Uh, it's from not that, here. and it's, it's from not Gundam Breaker. Gundam right? Breaker three, um, because there's problems. There's weird hooks that OBS can't capture near or without some ridiculous workarounds. That That's such a weird I thing. don't have it, the presence of mind right now to do. I'm sorry. Which is fine, because I've heard about that before. But, I've heard other people saying, like, oh, near is such a pain to capture. Yeah, it really is. They, I, which is I find really but, strange in a world of streamers and OBS. Yeah. Like, how is it that you're not building well, your Japan. things to be more friendly Japan. to that? I know. They Japan have weird, and online. They it's, have real weird attitudes about uh, it, I know. But, but here's the thing. is It's just disappointing. Five minutes into the intro of me starting this game... I'm sitting there going, I need to be recording this game. I restarted ah. trying to do that. Couldn't get it to work. I went, dang it. Well, guys, sorry. And I mean, at this uh, point, maybe uh, at some point if they ever like, cause I need to play it as well. So if, uh, if that ever becomes a, well, something we can, resolved, we can get it on console and that resolves. Oh, it. right. We can console it. That's, oh, I could totally do that. Yeah. I mean, it won't look as good. How, how long has it been out? You know, a while. It's been out a while. I wonder, yeah. uh, so wonder if, if they, I could get a cheap. Uh, I will. I will say this cheap version of it. If you, uh, I mean, I don't. I, I won't. I don't, no, never mind. I won't. I won't f- complete that train of thought. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but if we watch for summer sales, because the Steam summer sale is going to come around. Um, that is that they, the, the usually PlayStation and Xbox do a counter sale. Near will be on that list, no question. Cool. Um, I look forward to. And it. And the 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 design the developer the lead developer of that game wishes you wishes you would treat it like your weird crush from high school. <laughs> That's how he feels about Nier. So it's got to go on sale. He's always going to put it on sale. Nier, best wife. Your 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 awkward crush from high school. <laughs> You don't really want to tell that's, people about that's it. That's how I like to think about it. <laughs> you don't want to tell anybody about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And yeah. from what I've heard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I feel weird, awkward, like talking about some of the things I've talked about. <laughs> and I'm like three hours into this game and I'm just like, this thing is weird. So have you made it to any endings yet? No. Okay. I understand that the first en- the first playthrough is about 10. Hours. Ooh, wow. Okay. And then there, there's some short ones and there's some like you can actually delete your operating system. <laughs> And die, and that's an ending. That so, so it's ending. not like twenty six like hardcore different playthroughs, right? But yeah. uh, I mean, we'll see. This is one I want to I want to take some time with because, I, like I said, I'm I'm playing this off camera, and in our, our kind of beginning of the year, I end mean, of the year thing, from, like through the grapevine and just like what I've gleaned about mm. near. I found that like it gets kind of meta in it's just the fact that there are all these endings and right. it has some other meta narrative that's going on. Well, I also that I don't know anything about honestly. I just like I've heard that it ex- it, it could exist. Well, and I've also was reading uh, reading something about it where uh, it was talking about that there's some uh, the, some of the characters you I know you play as. There's like a kind of support character who when when you're playing as two B and I think there's another combat uh, android. 
it's all very they're very sexy characters and they also are um, the, the the I mean if you're going to build battle androids right like, why make them ugly right uh but they're also like uh when they fight it's very fluid and it's stylized and it's very rewarding feeling you're speaking my language where this other support character is kind of arguably almost in, ti- in uh designed to be kind of dull and monotonous because huh. that's not his role is he's a support so he shouldn't be fighting so there's nothing the, the, the people have argued that that's what the what your the character is getting out of it Weird. there's a kind of like blurring sex and violence and kind of turning it into this thing that's like that the combat androids are all about sure Whereas the support androids are just like, no, I'm here to fix stuff and like recon and yeah, it's really- AI stuff. Fascinating. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's really that or if this is just people going, I really like this game. I need to think more about this game. That's true. I mean, head cannon. Like, it, we, this oh, is I mean, the internet age. You're, head, you're, head cannon abounds. I mean, you're talking to the guy who has <laughs> very quickly linked Pokemon and Monster, <laughs> Monster Hunter Hunter <laughs> into like a unified universe. Oh, so I, I get how that goes. Head cannon could be fun. It can be. I agree. <laughs> it's also dangerous. <laughs> Don't headcanon irresponsibly, children. Yeah. I mean, look at what happened to Star Wars fandom. Oh, gosh. And Rick and Morty. And Rick and Morty. <laughs> and anything you've ever really loved. There's always... Yeah, and anyway. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I understand Rick and Morty on every level. So, <laughs> Oh, really? Sure. <laughs> I have the IQ to prove it. Yeah, right. Peace among worlds, Joe. Prove it. You can't. Peace among worlds. <laughs> Peace among worlds. I agree. Uh... <laughs> So, with that said, I guess that's a very, I mean, I, I was going to say soft intro, but kind of kind of a hard Japanese intro into our, uh, <laughs> our, part, our pardon our weeb. Pardon our weeb. Uh, so, like we said, we cap- the, the, the footage we captured this week was from Gundam Breaker 3, and that's because I kind of got in the mood because of the, I just became aware of, apparently they've been putting out videos and announced stuff for forever, of the new Gundam Breaker. Right on. Which, I mean, yeah, I, that's literally the title. I, have I should to, say I have yet to play a uh, Gundam uh, Breaker, Gundam Breaker. Game, so I'm actually looking forward. to I mean, this quite a bit. I let you Gundam Breaker three for like three months. I, I but, know I just didn't play it. It's pathetic. <laughs> uh, it but sat, it sat next to my uh, <laughs> right my PlayStation, and then I asked for it back so I could capture footage. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, you can have it back. I'm probably not going to uh, get around to it. I should and now, mention, and now that new Gundam Breaker is coming out, right. and like, we should say that is the actual title is New Gundam Breaker. Yes. Uh, they, and that, not yeah. four, but new Gundam Breaker, which is so weird. And previous Gundam Breakers, you had to import. I got like a Play Asia copy for is what I got mine right. with this English. The, this is going to be the first uh, simultaneous release, worldwide release. Yeah, and it's on PC, PS4, and I don't know of anything else uh, that it's definitely coming to. Uh, but the get it's it's the so the hobby in the the uh, the. Bandai Namco that we sell model kits. Uh, they call their Gundam models Gunpla, which we've said before, and we've never really again. Pardon, pardon our weeb. Yeah, pardon our weeb. Uh, because J- Japan just likes just butchering languages, even ones that aren't <laughs> theirs, in a fun way. Uh, so Gundam Breaker is essentially a Gunpla game in that you're literally buying models or. Diablo style, some parts are dropping and you can upgrade those parts and make them better and stronger. So you're building your own mech and then you're going out and Dynasty Warrior style just beating the snot out of uh, the fodder. Yeah, the, oh, and sometimes bosses and uh, different classes of mechs and uh, all from the Gundam series and some are their own weird hybrids of things you've seen before and sometimes they're just straight builds from the shows. Now I'm uh, a little weird when it comes to Gundam Gunpla, Gundam Breaker type stuff. Are you that, talking about your weird G-Rec fetish? Um, I'm more so that I, I've only seen that series. Oh. <laughs> I've only seen like the most hated series and like part of one other. Like, I don't know if it's the most hated series, but it's the it one that... It seems to be the most... It was uh, pretty bad. Uh, disparaged. I love that you I love hear, it. I do, I do love it. And um, I love that you love it, but yeah. it's not a good Gundam series. It's not but really, I, I, mm. And oh, I guess I have seen the, the YouTube Gunpla. Uh, uh, the, the build the fighters, build fighters, which yeah, is which is about this kind of yeah thing, and they're going into like basically a VR thing, and the yeah. plot of the Gundam Breaker games is you're basically doing a VR thing to p- control your models. And, and I, I think of it as weird. I, I think of myself as weird because I am like I really enjoy the Gundam stuff that goes along with it, and and the setting for this this kind of G Rec or uh, build fighters, uh, Gundam Breaker. Gundam Breaker, yes. Gundam oh, Breaker, the game. Yeah, the video game part of it. I don't think you're weird there. I think a lot of people really dig the... Um, 
but I, I don't really have a lot of like love for oh, the, the, you don't the see pantheon the, the, of the connection to yeah oh. like, I'm like I'm not I don't see a lot of these gun I'm like so you see a mobile a armor them, and you're like what's that yeah I'm like what is this like I don't even know what I'm looking at here like, yeah like I know a handful of Gundam. And you're like, wow, that thing's really big. What's that? That's a big Gundam. It's like, like, it's a big Gundam. Yeah, it's like, no, like, no that's, said, like, that's, that's, a, a, that's a mobile armor. <laughs> that's not, that's that, not those, a thing. Those are, that's a class that they're yeah. mobile armors. One, at least Basically, one. If it's, a a dude, if it's yeah. a dude looking robot to me, it's a Gundam. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I know like three or four. I mean, oh. I know a handful of them pretty well. And right. I've put together some of the model kits and stuff, but like, uh, I, I do feel woefully undereducated when it comes to Gundam stuff. Well, you also have borrowed my DVDs of the first series. And I'm slowly you... working through that. Okay. I actually am. I actually am working through that. Getting through uh, that sweet, yeah. sweet intro singing about Amaro Ray. Oh, man, great. That music on that's so fantastic. So good. And I'm watching it the dub version because I was watching it with my wife. You're a monster. <laughs> Dubs, not subs, people. No, 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 no. Not what? Okay, there's, it's, a, it's a cultural experience. You could you could argue dubs in some cases, but not with your anime. <laughs> subs before dubs, bro. <laughs> we're we're weaving hard this time. Uh, uh, hey, we said pardon our weave. Yeah, I think that's the disclaimer. We, it's can, not, we can do whatever we want after we say that. It's not a request. <laughs> it is a demand. You will pardon our weave. Uh, uh, anyway, sorry, I'm I'm derailing. You yes. Here. But uh, I'm actually really looking forward to uh, this new Gundam Breaker game because it, I mean, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of um, cool, yeah. From some of the videos that we've seen, like it shows you battling it out, like as a little Gundam model in, in a, like a in mo- an office, in like, or, and also like a Gundam cafe. <laughs> yes. So yeah, there's like, like the models in the background, and you're, but yeah, it yeah. kind of like um, reminded me of like the stuff that we've seen from like Kingdom Hearts three, like the Toy Story levels where you're in the kid's bedroom and it's a bunch of toys and stuff, kind of like, and you're fighting these robots. It kind of, I mean, I know it's not the same thing. But, well, I mean, I have no touchstone for Kingdom Hearts, so I'm just taking is, your word for which it. is fine. It's just like purely aesthetic. Uh, okay, is what I'm. Kind of talking like okay. you're you're a, you're a miniaturized thing in a in the real world. You gotcha, know? and that feel uh, is kind of interesting to me when it's done well. Uh, right, and and this it seems like it'll be fun. Uh, I'm excited to because I love farming up gear. Right, and if I can build a cool looking Gundam along the way, that sounds rad. Yeah, and and just in case you're curious, a great many of the Gundam series, including the Build Fighters ones, are available on uh, YouTube from like the official Gundam, like Gundam Info. I think is there more than just the Build Fighter stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did not realize there were a lot more. Of That's the other ones. Because so I know there's a handful on uh, uh, and like they're Hulu doing, and well, they're doing the remasters of Seed and Seed Destiny. Seed is good. Destiny is Seed Destiny <laughs> is. Hoop that the, 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 they switch between characters and that kid I mean, sucks. The completionist in me will probably eventually <laughs> watch all of it, right? But now but, that I've kind of I've got your original Gundam, mm-hmm. I'll probably start there. That's a good place finish, to start. Finish that, even though I really don't like any of those Gundam. Like, uh, they're, 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 there's it's basic. It's so basic. It is. It is. And I guess I and I started at uh, the theoretical opposite end with G Rex. Yeah. Because it still like claims to be part of its like main, it can claim whatever it wants. Canon, <laughs> it's just like so far in the future that they've almost forgotten everything in the yeah. past. Um, it's a weird one. I agree. It mm. was weird, but I liked it because like the animation was vaguely Miyazaki styled, and that was it, weird. It did kind of ate that. Yeah, it's weird for a Gundam series to do that. They're they have gone uh, in a more modern styles, generally speaking. Right, right, but not quite the same way that Iron Blooded Orphans went. Right, which I still find that to be like that's e- like that's even more modern. Yeah, yeah, it, in it, my it is. Like well, and, and it's the current, it's the current mainline Gundam series. Uh, not right? anymore. No, no, no. Oh, well, believe me, uh, as someone who just finished like, as, as a result of all this, actually, I hadn't watched season two of Iron Blooded Orphans. Okay, uh, I binged that, and no, they wrap that up. In a way that, like this, yeah, they're 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 on to different series and things like that. Okay, cool. Uh, but uh, I, I yeah, there it shows my ignorance again. I'm not but super. I'll tell you what, up on what's happening. In so Gundam world. here's the interesting thing about the Iron Blood. Though Orphan I have series. seen that first series of Iron Blood, which Orphans, is fantastic, which is a great series. And if you haven't ever watched Gundam, that's a good start. I, that's a real good start. Point. I will say this. That, okay, so the first season is fairly Gundam like in that you have usually something vaguely idealistic and people kind of these someone with an ideal kind of getting through things that you're like okay that normally wouldn't work but okay they're you know their strength of will and character or whatever they're you know they're cutting through the political and uh socioeconomic bs to make a better world and all that yeah season two that comes back around real hard interesting in a way in a real world way that's like no you this was not a no that wasn't what was happening and i think that's like kind of what 
I never understood about Gundam. I yeah. just thought it was like robot fighting. No. Uh, but it's actually very politically driven, oh, which I found generally unique in the anime space. Yeah, there's generally a uh a, a an upper a pow, a, a superpower that has an upper hand and uh it's also not uncommon to have a faction that is the underdog but then resorts to um means that they shouldn't like in the first Gundam series there is was it Zeon is the faction that drops one of their colonies onto right, earth yeah. and you're like I'm sorry what <laughs> and it it does I mean the, the and, devastation is and not it's cool insignificant that it is like this weird like far flung future where like earth and everything as we know it is like in the stars and right right and in a very like it's it's like a macro kind of story yeah. where it's, it's talking about political powers and like, it's the few, machinations thereof. It's, it does have like a handful of like actual characters that you yeah. get to know, but it's really not. It's micro focused on the characters, it, but it's the macro lens on the, it's on like the, the tilt entire, shift. Yeah, it's a tilt shift yeah, of anime. It's like a tilt shift of anime. That's actually a really <laughs> interesting way to say that for sure. If if you're familiar with tilt shift if photography. Not, Google, Google it. And if not, are. tilt shift photography is amazing. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it's rad. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. It's, it, it's how do these uh, couple of characters affect the greater story? So actually, so just one of the things. So uh, Iron Blooded Orphans. It's got a like this part of the plot is the some of the main characters are child soldiers, but do at the end of season one they are a successful mercenary company of child soldiers, which results at the beginning of season two them going yeah so a lot more people are using child soldiers because they proved effective. Oops, we made the world worse, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, it's, well, it's and like, and that's the beauty yeah. of it, too, is that a lot of these things where, like, they're trying to do whatever they are doing by, like, based on their own ideals. Yeah. Doesn't always mean it's good. Right. Like, and, and it's the, a very, like, true to, like, real life of, like, how I, people can royally mess some right. stuff in up. In Iron Blooded Orphans, it is. Yes, it usually is only, doesn't really get terribly deep. In that, in the other Gundam series, right, it's yeah. always kind of saccharine in that, even when it kind of does. It's I mean, in G Rec, it definitely was. That was more like, yeah, yeah, no, a uh, ruling party, and it's kind of poor management of. I don't, I don't want to say like, yeah, I don't want to say I, Iron Blood Orphans. It'd be pr- trying to be like, well, you know, Game of Thrones, all your characters die. No, yeah. not very many people make it out of Iron Blooded Orphans. Let's say it's 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 a series where there's a lot of casualties, and not all the deaths are meaningful. Right. Yes, and that's actually what I really liked about uh, part of that part of Iron Blooded Orphans, at least the first series that yeah. I, I have watched as well, uh, was that wow, like they were willing to kill well, off some pretty like here's okay interesting mm. characters. I, I vaguely this, uh, how would you feel about a show that you feel like you're rooting for someone? And then by the end, they're like, like you feel like you're like, I just got screwed out of my <laughs> ending, and then you go actually the people that you were rooting for were maybe not the good guys. Yeah, I love that stuff. But That's also, great. but also, but you know that well, the I mean, people, it's, the, it's what makes characters like that interesting. But also, it's it's like, it's, it does a good job of being like, no, nobody here is pure. Nobody here is clean. Everybody here is bad. <laughs> but the end, if the end result is, is net positive, is that okay? If the kid's okay for the bad guys win, if it makes it okay in the long run. That's wild. I'm still thinking about how yeah. that, that show ended, and now that uh, that's not a, like a big spoiler, but understand that's where that <laughs> that's goes. Kind of what, yeah, that's kind of what you're that's, dealing. That's kind of a it's, spoiler. It's surprisingly deeper than it may feel. Also, the action scenes ways. are amazing. Yeah, uh, modern anime is great for that. W- in, in, when it's done correctly, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm definitely not a huge fan of the current like trend of. Like heavily CG character stuff. Yeah, that yeah. Just really turns me off. Well, quite and a that's bit. I'm, and that's why I liked Iron Blooded Orphans and Build Fighters. The Build and Fighters, Build series Fighters yeah. is lovingly drawn. Yes, it's no yeah. CG anywhere near that. Which I, is, and I don't like the mix. Mm, oh, the mix is always oh, bad the, when they mix. Uh, when, you don't mix media, people. Like, Irregular did that, and it mixed it. It was bad. Irregular did it better than others. True, uh, but it was still bad when you saw it. I mean, yeah, you definitely notice it, but they didn't like lean on it too hard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. In my opinion, I didn't have that much of a problem with it. In, uh, irregular, I mean, but I watched that sh- that series like what three times? Oh, through? did you? So, okay, I only watched it the one time. Um, I like. I really like that series. Yeah. If you're looking for a good, well animated anime, yeah, Iron Blooded Orphans is great. Yep. Uh, that's really good. And then they're just starting a new season of Build Fighters, which is Dive Ride. Right. I saw that the next. I saw that episode two just came out. Ooh, did it? I need yeah. to watch that. Uh, I have not watched the first one yet either. I just watched that it's, sh- that preview, people which, be, was, which was pretty cool. When people are being reductive, it is, they basically say it's Sword Art Online meets uh, Build Fighters, but I watched that for an episode and I said, that's great. I mean, I, I mean, I love both of te- those things. The so teaser episode. Why would that be a problem? The teaser episode has this like ace pilot fighting a, 
I mean, there like a, space, a, beagle? a space German, uh, like 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 a, like a dog wearing yeah. like German uniform, uh-huh. fly like fighting, flying a mech against him. It was yes. just yeah, it's goofy. Like, this but, is this is like yeah, it's, it's but like it's cyberspace kind of yeah. yeah. And I do I do I've always liked the Sword Art Online uh, kind of setting. The and first the the first arc was the was beyond amazing. <laughs> sure, sure. And I guess their uh, their GGO series is going to be out here in a little while. Oh, they're uh, doing a GGO I, series? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's like them proper or if it's like a I hope not. crunchy roll adjacent thing. But I saw like the opening uh the opening credits and theme song for uh, it. Okay. Looked alright. Uh, I mean it looks like it looks like a proper anime. Like, they, it, oh, I, like, I it, looks like, it looks like the real deal. So. I kinda wanna pick up the the Sword Art GGO game. <sighs> yeah. Just I, so I, we can I mean, so we can play it and see what it is, but uh, at the same time. Maybe we need to like start a feature of just like, hey, these are real bad games that we just want to like I mean, we're gonna do that if, I mean, watch watch us play these horrible, horrible games. There's a market for that. People like seeing people suffer. Is it Sh- Schadenfreude? Hey, mis- but you're misery sitting there watching loves company. I guess, but like we don't get the company. It's just us <laughs> and people watching us post <laughs> and just hate on something. Yeah, uh, I mean, hey, if, if you got to if you got to like suffer, might as well post it on the internet. I mean, what's one more howling voice in the void? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry, that's uh, yes. Wash over me with your nihilism. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I you know, I Rick and Morty, whatever. Wubba lubba the tub tub. <laughs> Wubba lubba dub dub. Uh, I, we, on our breaks, uh, I have a coworker who hasn't seen Rick and Morty, so we're watching through oh, that right no. now. Oh, no. We just watched um, the Keep Summer Safe episode. Delightful. Yeah, it's a good Delightful. one. Delightful. That's oh, why man. I made the Peace Among Worlds reference. Good. Uh, I, I do love a good Peace Among Worlds. I, I guess that's probably good, a good place in, uh, enough to stop as we've been kind of uh, punch drunk and ran, rambly. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is even going to be listenable. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, I, I, I'll. We said I'll, pardon our weeb. I mean, not that part. I mean, me just in my mental state this entire time. Oh, right. No, nah, it'll be fine. I know I haven't been watching my uh, no likes one, and ums. No one's gonna notice. Sure, <laughs> that's what you say. Uh, so, folks, uh, things are gonna be moving around. Uh, we're gonna be posting the podcast probably a little bit more sporadically. Uh, we're looking at maybe yeah, definitely until things get settled down. Maybe posting more, maybe posting less. We've we're working on some projects that we've had a we've hell of a, a good time. Yeah, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff in the can. I mean, obviously, uh, Devil May Cry is up, and, and we've loving that's Devil May Cry so good. And then we got another one that yeah, we'll, we'll have a new one that'll come up uh, next week or so. Yeah, it should be. I guess it depends on when we post this. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Which is also yeah, uh, if if you know maybe you know before we do yeah, what we're talking about. Will. Uh, but that's also been a ton of fun. Just get excited for that other one too. They're both they're both great. Oh, don't overpromise. It's great. under under promise over deliver. Oh, fair point. This is how we do. Just don't don't <laughs> story don't. story of my life. N- never I, hype. I know flip that. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and now you're you're getting loopy. Thank you everyone for joining us. <laughs> we'll catch you next time on the backcast. Catch you guys later.